John's in Manchester. You work in a vaccination centre, do you, John? Good morning. Yeah, morning, Nick. Great show as always. That's very kind of you. How many young people are turning up where you are? Not a great deal. I was picking up on the point that the prof said before the break about young people not being lazy. I think I'd have to beg to differ. I'll give you just a, a quick well, stat. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. We sent out an invitation to 10,000 youngsters between 18 and 30. Mm-hmm. We geared up a whole vaccination centre. Doctors gave out their weekend nurses. You can imagine the whole logistical exercise involved. Massive, massive. Yeah. Fewer than 200 took up the opportunity, of which less than 100 turned up. It was incredible. So all that medical staff and folk, everybody, sitting around, Re- ready to wrenching go. Wrenching premises. It was just incredible. And what we actually did in our hours, we rang a few of the people up, you know, mobile phone connection, yeah, yeah. and we asked them, you know, why haven't you responded? And the range of answers is, in- is incredible. Uh, I don't know where the centre is. I haven't got the bus fare. I'd have to change buses. <laughs> I've got to walk the dog. I've got to water the plants. I've probably had COVID already. Mm. It, it's astonishing. They are lazy. Uh, they are lazy. Well, that's a, uh, I don't know. No, hang on. Not You can't <laughs> say that everybody aged 18 to 29 uh, is lazy. A huge number of them well, can't be bothered well, equals lazy. Not well, everyone, of course. <laughs> I mean, I, and in the early days, the uptake with people in their sixties and their fifties and their forties, presumably they were fl- they were flocking to the door. Yes, indeed, it rose. It actually rose as the, as the weeks went by, and the, the percentage increase. This percentage um, vaccination actually exceeded expectations. I think, but by the time you get to the top of the age range, which was understandable, because of course you know they're the most uh, vulnerable. The youngsters, we're just not getting through to them. John, thank you for that. I, that is quite shocking. <laughs> I haven't got the bus fare. Oh, Lord. I'd need to change buses. Yeah, tell you what, you won't get COVID. But I wonder... I wonder how much this is because these young people's main source of news is social media, is their mobile phones or whatever. And we all know the perils of social media and can be such a force for good. But I remind you, a couple of years ago, the number one story was the cat that looked like Hitler. I, I swear to God, that was the most viewed story one year. The cat that looked like Hitler... And that's where they're getting their news.